Going on YouTube, just checking. Welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing brand new BF Weevil, which you can see is in the Compacts class and was released with the KO Perico Heist DLC. Now, this Weevil being in the Compacts class isn't too badly priced at $652,000. That's the lowest price, and there's also a higher price of $870 thousand dollars which like i've said before any new car under one million dollars i think is reasonably priced in 2020 yeah it is expensive for what it is it is only a compact but look at it man it is a vw beetle and i'm overly excited about customizing and reviewing this brand new car so with that out of the way, let's crack on with the build and we're going to start as always with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper. We've got front bumper options so we can do the bumper delete which is pretty cool. And then we've got the same as the stock bumper but with a split underneath. Not a massive fan of that. I think it looks a little bit too modern for this type of car. And then you get the same splitter but color coded without the metal bumper across the front. Uh, this type of car in my opinion has to be that classic look in my opinion i mean i think trying to modify and modernize this type of vehicle doesn't really work for me it's not my cup of tea i think it looks better even staying sort of like true to its classic roots or making it look like uh like an off-roader kind of beach buggy kind of looking thing which is what we're getting with this extended ball bar we're getting that type of feel with that and also the buggy bar so maybe you can turn this into a, a, an off-road beach buggy type of thing and i think that'd be awesome if you can do that because there's some really nice options for ball bars at the moment um but even though i love the look of these and i'd love to be able to make the off-road beach buggy i'm gonna stay stock because i absolutely love the standard look of this um bf weevil aka vw beetle and I think it just looks awesome. So, so stock bumper is the way we're going to stay for the rear. So you can do pretty much the same sort of thing where you can delete it. You can give it a plastic bumper. Mate, you can take the uh, the rear off. That looks awesome. So you've got an exposed engine there with the work and pulleys. That just that looks really good. So that's obviously something you would use for a beach buggy. And you get different variations of that. Uh, with different types of ball bars where you get the black, the chrome and different designs as well. Uh, that just looks awesome. You can do really good stuff with that. Love it. Uh, but like I've said already, and I'm going to stay with the classic look for this. I'm going to stay stock for the rear bumper. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. Loads of options for the exhausts. As you can see, they are them little rusty <laughs> things at the bottom there. We'll accelerate quickly so you can see them. Uh, so we get the chrome versions of those, and we get the same sort of thing, but maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, the unswept exhaust actually look really cool. That's something that you'd use obviously on a beach buggy type of build and um, Pretty much the same type of thing where they're sort of like sweeping up and coming up onto the outside of the bumper And this one sort of like tilted at an angle the side stringer which make that <laughs> the mega stringer that looks insane Then we get the mega side stinger Which is <laughs> obviously the same as that but it just pulls off to the side so there are some really nice options for this. Uh, my favourite was the the central exhausts. I like the way that they brought them a little bit closer together and they're a little bit meatier than the originals. Then we get the option for fenders. So I'm guessing we're going to be able to take these off. And I'm looking now at the bottom of the menu and it is there is a fender delete. So, I, I, you know, I kind of assumed that considering that we have had a few options for like uh, to make this look like a beach buggy. Uh, so I was expecting that. But we're going to go through them all quickly. We've got the headlight hoods. We've got the wires, which is pretty cool. The blackout covers, man, that looks funky as hell. I'm not sure if I like that. It kind of makes it look, um, I don't know. <laughs> it looks really odd. Uh, but anyway, then we've got the front arch. Oh, so we can extend the arches. That looks a little bit weird as well. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, but that's maybe something you can do if you're going for the beach buggy look. Then we've got the carbon fiber. Oh, the chop fenders. That looks awesome, man. Love the look of that. Uh, then we've got the primary version of that and then the carbon version and we can delete them all together. Um, I think the chopped one actually looks a little bit nicer to be fair than deleting it all together. But that's something that I can come back and do at a later date. I am going to go for that classic look at the moment. Oh and it comes straight down to the rear so, um, so you start at the front and then you move on to the rear inside the same category. 
so then you can get the chop chopped rear as well which looks awesome and primary and secondary and obviously in the carbon as well and you can delete it all together so there's some really nice options for the fenders but like i said already go stay classic with this so i'm going to stay with actually no i'm going to go with the the headlight hoods because i think that looks pretty cool uh, but other than that the fenders are going to stay the same so then we do move on to the hood so we've got the secondary hood the carbon hood the fog light hood I'm not sure about that then we get the same version but in secondary and also in carbon but i'm going to stay stock for that i don't really like any of the other options it's a shame that we don't have an option to delete it altogether but nevertheless let's move on then we've got the hood accessories so we only get one option for this which is the adventure kit which is obviously something you'd like to include if you're uh, doing an off-road buggy type of build on this that is awesome that's a nice addition to this um so it's good to see it but i'm gonna stay none then we're gonna move on to the lights i'm gonna go and purchase the xeon headlights so i'm hoping that we'd get some sort of herbie livery which would be awesome uh, whether we get anything like that i don't really know um, don't know how close rockstar would be able to get to it um, but yeah herbie the love bug livery would be awesome but we're going to skip through them quickly anyway so obviously you can see we've got the flames and we've got the camos that's very much like herbie the bf cup car that's really close obviously we haven't got the number on the front it's just got a bf but the colors are very similar because herbie has um, a red white and blue stripe with the number 53 Oh, that's not too bad. So we can get a rusted up version of it. Uh, but this time we've got number 35 on there rather than just BF. And we've obviously got a, a love bug looking um, livery, which is cool. Looks all rusted up. So obviously we'll grab some sort of hippie <laughs> looking liveries on there as well. Yeah, here we go. Peace. Uh, not my cup of tea, but it's really cool that we've got it. Um, yeah, man. I'm loving the look of this. We could have a battered up Herbie. And also, just the standard one. It's a shame that this hasn't got a number and it's just got BF written on it. You'd, you'd think that maybe they'd put the 35 in there as well. Uh, but they haven't, unfortunately. But anyway, this is just a quick look at what we can actually do to this. Maybe what I'll do. I'll skip back, actually. Uh, so we'll come back to the liveries in a moment. Because this is obviously a review build, let's actually make this look a little bit different. So we're going to go front bumper and we are going to pick... This Beja ball bar, let's grab that because then we are going to go to the rear bumper. We're just going to get the delete. No, we're not. We're going to get one of these bad boys and we're going to get the matching one for the rear. And then we're going to go to the fenders and we're going to get the chopped fenders. Uh, we're just going to stay with a primary color though. And then we're going to go to the rear and get them chopped as well. Then we are going to get the hood accessories. Let's get the adventure kit. Uh, for the livery, we're back to the livery now. So could we get something on here which is actually going to suit this? Maybe like a rusted up livery. Might look pretty cool. So now for the respray, we're going to go primary color. We're going to stay classic because obviously we do have a uh, livery on there. And as you can see, the colors are two tones. So we've got the primary at the top, and I'm assuming the bottom part is going to be the secondary. And I'm going to go with a frost white for the primary color. Secondary color, also classic. And I actually like the look of this two tone look. So I'm going to go with cream for the secondary color. Then we get the roll cage option, and we've got the half cage, the half cage with the sports seats. Definitely going to go with sports seats in this. Another half cage with the street seats. Uh, the only difference we get with uh, this one is that we just get an added bit on the cage. And then we've got the drift seats with the full cage, which is pretty awesome. Drag seats, race seats, carbon seats. I actually like the drag seats with the full cage. So I'm going to go with that. Then we've got the roof option. So we've got the primary sun strip, the secondary. Then we get a vintage rack. And then we get a luggage, tires. Uh, off road surfboard nice there's some really cool options for this man it's pretty awesome don't want this one. that one actually looks really smart yeah i like the look of that off road rack let's go with that then we've got side skirt option wasn't expecting that ah oh, so it's like a step up that's which which is pretty cool so we've got the chrome uh primary secondary i think i'm gonna go over oh i don't know actually off road kit love that let's go for off road kit even spoiler options for this bitch, man. Awesome. That actually looks really cool. Not going to lie. You got a carbon version of that as well. And then the drag. Car car carbon drag. Get my words out. Then the extreme. That looks just ridiculous. Not a fan of that. But these drag wings look awesome. Uh, the primary race wing actually looks really good as well. And a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to go with that. But a suspension. Don't know if I want to lower this. Oh shit. You can completely slam it. But because I've gone for an off-road build, I think maybe just 
going with the lowered suspension is, su is sufficient enough. So yeah, lowered suspension is just the one I'm going to go. Transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and the turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, we are going to go wheel type and into the off-road category. And I love the look of these rock crawlers, so I'm going to go with those. For the wheel colour, uh, we're going to go with the carbon black, just because it lightens up a little bit and, in my opinion, makes it look a little bit nicer. For the tyres, tyre design, I think we will get some tyre writing on these because it, it suits it, in my opinion. I think it looks great. And also, it changes the tread on the tyres, which is a nice little detail. So yeah, we're going to go with the custom tyres and the tyre enhancements. Bulletproof tyres is already purchased some, for some reason, but I'm not going to grumble. And then, window tint, to finish off, we are going to go with the light smoke. And that is it, my dudes. So as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see the BF Weevil has completely transformed. And in my opinion, actually looks really, really cool. Um, I obviously went back and changed it up a little bit. I wanted to customize it so it looked completely different to the way I took it in. Um, just to sort of like showcase some of the modifications that you can actually do to it. And the modifications for this is pretty vast and there's a lot of options. So... Um, Seeing the same sort of thing on the street with exactly the same customizations as what you have is going to be pretty rare just because there's so many options out there um, you know, to purchase for this car. There's so many ways of making it look different. I'm stoked that there's a Herbie livery on here as well. I was, you know, I was hoping for that. They couldn't really introduce a Beetle into the game without giving us a Herbie livery in my opinion. And um, yeah, man, loving the look of it. I love the way it looks from stock. I love the classic look. And also this off-road buggy look is not necessarily my cup of tea, um, but it's cool that we can do it. And obviously some people are going to prefer this to the classic look as well. I just went for this sort of look just so we could showcase a little bit of what it was about. And um, yeah, a little drive. It, it feels a little bit obviously sluggish. It's not going to be a supercar quick, but it feels capable. It felt like it pulled away quite nicely. It feels like it really holds them corners quite nicely as well. It doesn't want to spin out. It's actually quite sturdy and steady. See how it held that really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with the uh, actual handling of this thing as well. Uh, speed is obviously a little bit slow, but it is a compact car. So you, you can't really expect anything too much from its performance. Um, but... I think it's definitely going to be a contender for this for the compact races if, if that's what you what you do um, it, it definitely will hold its own in that category just because the handling feels really really solid and um, the speed isn't really too bad I think I think it actually feels quite nice um, and for the fact that it's going to be between 650,000 to 850,000 I think it's not actually too badly priced either for 2020 um, so yeah, I'd, I'd suggest picking it up, especially if you're a, v, a VW fan or if um, you know you love a Beetle, then then go out and grab it because I'm a big VW fan. I have a VW Golf in real life, and the fact that they've now released a new VW into the game, I'm absolutely ecstatic about it, and I think it looks really cool. And um, I will be doing a future build on this car, and I will be doing Herbie. That is a fact. That is a god-given fact. I'll definitely be doing that. I'm actually doing it next because I absolutely love this love this car i love vw and i'm really really happy that rockstar have released this type of vehicle into the game it's been a long time coming in my opinion um, but with that being said guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time i'm out adios